Rufus and Balto here. And um this is actually my first how to video for people with new that are new to um turtles, reddard sliders, uh any other slider. And it's just um how to take care of them and how to keep them like thriving and alive for a long time. So let's get into step one. Okay, step one is try to clean your turtle tank every week. Um because event after like maybe a week stuff starts to build up like whether it's like um bacteria or algae or whatever that stuff is just try to clean it every single week and it helps especially with like if you have rocks or sand you need to clean that out every week it's a lot easier if you have a big tank like this is a 20 gallon tank but if you have a bigger tank you should probably get a pump it just makes it a lot easier to clean okay step two to taking care of your turtle Make sure you have good aquatic turtle food that will keep them alive. And um, don't overfeed them and don't underfeed them. However big your turtle is, there should be um, instructions on how many times a day you should feed them and what to feed them to. And you should try different foods, like if they don't really prefer one, then you should um, try like different, yeah, just try different foods to see which one they like. Alright, step three is to having a filter. Filters, they like refresh the water and stuff. It keeps the water clean most of the time. And while having a good filter, you need to have good cartridges. So good clean cartridges you might want to replace every time you clean your tank. So that means that, um, yeah, you need to have cartridges. I usually just buy the three packs. This is a medium filter, so I just get medium stuff. Okay. Okay, step four would have to be having a um, basking dock with a UVB light and UVA. This keeps their shell healthy. It just keeps them, like, I'm pretty sure one of the reasons one of my early turtles passed away was because we didn't have a correct basking dock. I th we keep our basking dock around 95 degrees, which is about the right temperature you want for them to, um, as if it was, like, real sunlight. Here, let me just show you my... Uh, you cannot even see that. Okay. Well, yeah, I already told you which lights there were, but <laughs> I don't even know why I tried to do that. All right. All right, for step five is keeping the correct water temperature. So, we have our thermometer right here. I don't know if you can see it, but... Around 76, it's glowing green. Yeah, you can't really see that on camera. So we keep our turtle tank around 76 to 78 degrees. That's probably the correct temperature. If you have baby turtles and you're new to this, you probably want to keep it around 80, 82. Um, get a heater. Uh, it looks kind of like crap right now, but get a heater. It, it'll keep the tank at the right temperature. You don't want it dropping to, like, your room temperature, which could be, like, kind of bad for them. Um, alright, alright, step six would have to be having enough water and, um, good water for your turtles. So, enough water is probably, well, first you need to base stuff your tank. Enough water, well, there's Balto right there. Enough water would mean, like, that it doubles his shell size, so he has enough room to swim around. And your tank length, or your, like, water length, should be three times the length of the turtle. Or maybe, and pro I think it was four times. Yeah, four times. So they have enough room to swim around. And also, um, get some AquaSafe. So if you use tap water when um, cleaning your tank, and then you refill your tank, make sure to put this in it. It gets rid of all the chlorine in the water. And that uh, your turtles need that. Alright, I'd have to say the seventh and final step would be getting exercise. Maybe like once every two weeks, week and a half take them out of their tank and maybe put them in like a bathtub or just like somewhere where they can't get away and just let them walk around for maybe like 15 minutes just make sure it's like a little damp so they don't um get too dry but um yeah so you just let them get a lot of exercise a lot of people actually have like an extension to their cage where they um make it so their turtles can crawl around somewhere Alright, yeah, so I think that's really it for the turtle care. Follow all these steps and you should be able to take care of turtles for actually a really long time.
And once they get bigger, like a lot bigger, you're probably going to need a pond or a 120 gallon plus tank. This is a 20 gallon, so a Balta right there is almost two years old, so he, um, we're going to need to get a bigger tank. I don't know, he's getting really big. Alright, so just subscribe if this helped you. Thanks for watching. Like the video. Bye.